Hello students, in our last lecture we have discussed about the structure of the cell, the parts or we can say the organelles of the cell, even we have discussed about the living and the non living part of the cell and the functions also we have discussed. Now we have to start with prokaryotes, so prokaryotes What is the meaning of prokaryotes? So how can we define prokaryotes? And what are eukaryotic animals, organisms, or what is the meaning of eukaryotes? And how can we define eukaryotes? And what is the difference between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic organisms? To begin with, prokaryotes, if we divide the word prokaryotes, if we divide the word prokaryotes, the meaning of pro is primitive primitive or or old and karyots karyots means nucleus so this what is the meaning of this word prokaryotes Pro means primitive and the karyotes means nucleus that means the organism which has primitive kind of nucleus are known as prokaryotes and similarly what is the meaning of eukaryotes that we will discuss just a, first of all I will write the definition of prokaryotes actually those organism in which nucleus and uh, nuclear membrane and all this structure is not defined, well defined. What structure is not well defined? Nucleus and nuclear membrane is not well defined. Then such kind of organisms are known as prokaryotes. If we talk about the example of prokaryotes, bacteria is the most common one. If we talk about the example of the prokaryotes, the bacteria and new green algae is the most common example. We have discussed the cell that means the structure of the plant cell and the animal cell we have discussed. The cell which we have discussed was eukaryotic cell. The cell which we have discussed was eukaryotic cell. But till now we have not discussed the structure of the diagram of prokaryotes. If I want to define prokaryotes before going to the diagram or the structure of prokaryotes, how can we define prokaryotes? The organism which do not have a well defined nucleus and nuclear, nuclear membrane are known as prokaryotes. What is the main emphasis like what is the main thing the nucleus and nuclear membrane is not well defined if we talk about eukaryotes then how can we define eukaryotes the organism which or in which the nucleus and nuclear membrane is well defined or the nucleus and the structure of the nucleus like nuclear nucleolus nucleoplast all this structure is well defined 
is present are known as eukaryotes. If we talk about the structure, just will take one diagram of the bacteria. The shape of the bacteria can be different, but here we are talking about the bacteria of an oval shape. This is the outermost membrane of a prokaryotic cell. Here I have taken the example of the bacteria and this is the outermost membrane of a bacterial cell. This is known as plasma membrane or cell membrane. It is known as plasma membrane or cell membrane. I have drawn a oval shape bacterial cell, the outermost covering. I still have not drawn, but the layer, the cover which I have drawn first is plasma membrane. On this plasma membrane, there is one more covering, and this is known as cell wall. This is known as cell wall. I am drawing a bacterial cell, but which one I want to show or we want to here we are discussing about a prokaryotic cell and so the inner membrane was plasma membrane and this membrane is let me finish up with this. This membrane is known as cell wall. We will not talk about the total or the structure of the prokaryotes in detail. This you will be studying in some higher classes, but to have as in NCRT a question is given, what is the difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes? To understand the basic difference between the prokaryotic and a eukaryotic cell, it is very very important to see and understand the basic diagram or structure of a prokaryote. So here this is a bacterial cell having a plasma membrane and the cell wall. Now the inside if we talk about a eukaryotic cell if you all remember we have discussed both the cells the plant and an animal cell. When we draw the structure inside the structure the cell wall was there if we talk about the plant cell then plasma membrane was there and the, the nucleus was there in the center if we talk about the animal cell. That nucleus is not present over here that nucleus is absent and what is present in a, nu a nucleus we have studied this in last lecture chromatin material is present in nucleus. When we talk about the chromatin material or the chromosome in a prokaryotes, the strand of DNA is present. The strand of uh, DNA is present. This is a DNA strand, but it is a naked one. That means it does not has a covering on this like this DNA is not or uh, it does not has the covering. This DNA is naked. It is just like that only attached to the membrane and it does not has any covering. If you remember plant or an animal cell 
the chromatin material is placed inside the nucleus that means it is present inside a cover here this cover is not present that means it is present in a naked form now in like all these cells a uh, liquid is filled all these cells means a uh, eukaryotic plant and an animal cell the cytoplasm is present here also we can see cytoplasm so cytoplasm is present over here when we talk about this membrane this membrane forms certain folded structure over here this membrane forms certain folded structure over here along with this certain granules are also present certain granules are also present and in certain cells the uh, plasmid name structure is also present plasmid is also present but this plasmid is not found in all prokaryotic cells this plasmid is not found in all prokaryotic cells now along with that some small ribosomes are also present the color is same i'll just take some another color so some small structures are present and these are ribosomes these are ribosomes so what we are seeing in this structure first of all a uh, layer we are talking about a prokaryotic cell what is the meaning of a prokaryotes pro, pro means primitive as i have written over here pro means primitive and karyotes means nucleus that means we are talking about an organism with a primitive nucleus or organism which do not have well defined nucleus and nuclear membrane are known as prokaryotes examples are bacteria and blue green algae if we talk about the structure of the prokaryotes this is a bacterial cell this is a membrane which is known as plasma membrane covering outermost membrane is the cell wall where it has gone cell wall inside the cell a fluid is filled which is known as uh, cytoplasm naked dna is present i have written here dna certain folds are present i have not labeled this and it is mesosomes membrane get folded and forms a structure which is known as mesosomes along with this certain structure so ribosomes are also present but what is the difference between an uh, between the ribosome of a prokaryotes and the eukaryotes the ribosomes of the prokaryotes are smaller they are smaller in size whereas the ribosomes of the eukaryotes are larger in size along with this the some structure are present which is known as plasmid now this plasmid is not present in all prokaryotes which uh, you may be studying in some higher class so i think this basic structure of a prokaryote is quite enough to understand the difference between a prokaryotic and a eukaryotic cell now what about the other organism children the mitochondria golgi bodies vacuoles 
so all these organ this organelles are absent in this prokaryotic cell so this cell a prokaryotic cell contains only these many organelles it has got a membrane outermost covering which is known as cell wall and the folds the membrane get folded on the inner side and forms a folds which are known as mesosomes naked dna ribosomes which are definitely smaller than the ribosomes of a eukaryotic cell then cytoplasm and plasmids again i am telling you plasmids are the structure which is not found in all the prokaryotes now this is the structure of a prokaryotic cell now we will talk about the difference between the prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell what are the differences which can be seen even here a prokaryotic cell is a primitive kind of a cell the cell of the prokaryotes is a primitive kind of a cell which do not have a well defined nucleus a single dna strand is present whereas in eukaryotes chromosomes many length of the chromosomes are present then ribosomes are smaller better i will write and explain if i can write over here in some place but i don't think so that it will be able to i'll be able to write so i'll have to clean this and then i will talk about the difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes now we'll talk about the difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes prokaryotes and eukaryotes so this is the structure on this basis we'll be able to draw uh, or write or differentiate between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes now here even the flagella i'm not flagella is also present depending some like a number of varieties in all the bacteria so when we talk about prokaryotes how can we define a prokaryote organism with organism with no well defined nucleus here in eukaryotes organism with well defined nucleus and nuclear membrane now what is the other difference ribosomes are quite small so in a prokaryotic cell ribosomes are very small whereas in a eukaryotic cell ribosomes are bigger ribosomes are bigger now what is the next difference a single dna strand is present and here 
this is the third one several lens of dna is present dna is naked it is here yeah, how dna is it is present it is present in nucleus then what about the next difference which we have discussed in this diagram also that we are not able to see any other organelles like mitochondria golgi golgi bodies all these organelles are absent in prokaryotes but all these are present in a eukaryotic cell so all other cell organelles are absent i'm not able to write over here but cell organelles are present please quote examples over here there is no please for me like examples like mitochondria golgi bodies and vacuoles all these will be coming over here if i want to write the examples i can write here bacteria and just now we have discussed bacteria and blue green algae are the prokaryotic organism that means their nucleus or their cell is of primitive kind and if we want to talk about eukaryotes there is several and several examples of eukaryotes all plants and animals and even the fungi all these are the examples of eukaryotic and eukaryotic cell so this is what we have studied about the prokaryotes and the eukaryotic cell what is the meaning of prokaryotes pro means primitive and karyotes means nucleus that means those organism which has got a primitive kind of nucleus here the dna is naked it is not present inside a nucleus rather in the eukaryotic cell the dna is enclosed in nucleus and all other organelles are absent other than ribosomes and that too in a prokaryotic cell it is very very small and in eukaryotes it is bigger if we talk about cytoplasm that is common it is present so we have not written that over here and the the length of the dna also matters which i have already explained so these are the basic differences between a prokaryotic and a eukaryotic cell if we talk about the difference between a cell like how these cells are different cells are totally different if we talk about their functions what what they perform like a neuron has nothing to do with the uh, uh, like uh, you know the respiration because it is responsible for sending the messages for receiving and uh, sending the messages but if we talk about the basic structure the organelles the uh, the components of a cell it is always same when we talk about eukaryotes the eukaryotic cell will have all the basic cell organelles cell structure and it will not be different from any other eukaryotic cell when i am talking about eukaryotic 
that means the cell are same in all the organisms basic structure will be same if we talk about a rat or an elephant cells will be same okay so this was about the differences and about the prokaryote and eukaryotic cell now we'll move to the next topic please know this